People who are waiting for a new organ often have to wait months or even years to find a match. For Stacy and Dan in Watertown, this wait was significantly less. The reason? They're a married couple and just so happen to be a perfect match. Kelloland's Julia Lynn takes us to Watertown to meet them. What started with Stacy's high blood pressure in 2017 led to several tests. These ultimately pointed to severe kidney problems within the last few months. Like in November and December, they didn't think I was going to make it. Our nephrologist told us there's not a doctor in the world that will touch her with that high blood pressure. After several tests, they found out in April her husband Dan was a perfect match. Overwhelmed, glad I could do it for her, especially her. Even their doctor couldn't believe the news. And she was just shocked, too, because, I mean, it doesn't happen very often, you know, that a husband and wife match, you know. And uh, she was just as surprised as the rest of us. Stacy says her life hasn't been the same since starting dialysis in December. Because you're just tired all the time. You don't have energy to do anything that you used to do. Like, we um, love to ride motorcycle and all that stuff, but I just... Yeah. The quality of life is hard to watch, deteriorate. Since day one, Dan has been by her side. But the best, the best has been him. Not only the, the kidney, obviously, is a huge part, but it's the little things. They also receive tremendous support from hospital staff. You know, there's so many people on dialysis, they're not going to care about just you. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. that's what I had in my head. And it's just complete opposite. They've all been great. From this experience, they want others to know the impact donating can have. That question even on your driver's license, you know, or some people just think nothing, but you're really saving somebody's life. You know, it's, it's, not, it's more than a question, you know. In Watertown, Julia Lynn, Kelalea News. Now the surgery is scheduled for Thursday in Sioux Falls. After that, Stacy will spend the next month in recovery. However, she is looking forward to going back to work when she is able.